Hello friends! Today's Cubite is about measurement, and what happens in the quantum world when you capture a particle. Have you ever seen how a mimosa plant responds to touch? Its leaves fold in upon themselves and its stems droop. Well, we particles are not exactly like plants, but we also respond when we are touched by a measuring device. When you are dreaming about building a new house, you can have an infinite number of design ideas in your head, and they are all possible. Until you start realizing your dream, building your house. What happens then? You end up choosing one design, right? Similarly, until we particles are detected, we can exist in many different states at once, described by our wave function. However, we land in one particular state when somebody detects us. Scientists call this behavior the measurement problem. Nobody knows exactly why we react this way to measurement. You may wonder how we choose the state to land in. Well, I wish I had an answer for that. Quantum physics can calculate the probabilities of these states, but it cannot make exact predictions. There are different approaches to the measurement problem. My favorite one is the many worlds formulation suggested by Hugh Everett in 1957. The most popular version of the many worlds approach employs the notion that all possible results of a measurement are realized at once. Imagine that there were many worlds, not just one. You could have all those different houses you've dreamed about at the same time in different worlds. This would also save the famous Schrodinger's cat, since it can be alive in one world and at the same time dead in the other. This sounds fascinating to me. See you soon!